Happy day, friends. It's been a pretty chill, relaxing Monday this week, which is really nice, because sometimes Mondays are just so busy for me. But thankfully, today is not, so I've just been able to take a pretty chill morning. I had my six-week postpartum um, appointment today, which I was really looking forward to. Everything went well. I'm gonna talk to you guys about that in a little bit. Um, I just wanna give you some of the details, and maybe some of you that are pregnant, if you want to know what to expect, things like that. And a lot of you have told me that these videos have helped you kind of ease your mind about some things, so I thought this would be a good thing to ease your mind about. So I'll get to that in a second. Making my coffee right now, it's decaf, um, still sticking to about one cup of caffeinated coffee a day, just because milk production, all that stuff. And today I'm using one of our men try mugs. We got these in the mail, and I'm so looking forward to hanging them up and using them. The one that I'm using is purple, because I think I like this one the best. And once I've got my coffee ready, I think I'm just gonna sit and chill and relax a little bit. I got some work done today. And Austin, he's outside on the phone right now. I don't know why he's outside, but he's talking to somebody already about Christmas lights. Anyways, Micah is starting to wake up. Hi, sweet girl. Hi. Good afternoon, did you have a good nap? Did you uh, have a good nap? Somebody looks a little hungry. So I'm gonna feed her and then I'll get to talking to you guys about my six week appointment. Look at her, she is looking for, looking for the milk. Real quick though, if any of you drink coffee, if you've ever tried just regular plain creamer and sweeten your coffee with honey instead of sugar, uh, it's so good. That's what I've been doing lately. Just wanted to share that with you guys. So my six week appointment went well. Um, a little bit of backstory for those of you that don't know. I had a normal vaginal birth, no complications. I had an epidural. Um, I did tear and I had stitches that had to heal up. But other than that, everything went really as planned. Uh oh, Micah needs some help. So I got into the office, I stepped on the scale and I was two and a half pounds more than my pre-pregnancy weight, which I'm happy about. I think it's great. My husband's looking at me like, what? What? Breastfeeding helps a ton. Um, honestly, I lost about 20 pounds like the first week, whether it was like, flu like fluids that I was retaining, I don't know, but I lost a lot of weight right away. So really there wasn't that much left to lose. And that's not my concern anyways, is losing weight. Like I said in the last video, I'm more so concerned about getting back my strength and my balance that I had before I had a baby. Um, that's my main goal, huh? That's my main goal. I did just try on my, my old jeans and they fit the whole summer and everything. I was wearing shorts and stuff that I haven't worn in a long time anyways. So I was a little worried if my old clothes were gonna fit, but they do, which means I won't have to buy too many more clothes. Um, we do plan on going on a shopping, a little shopping spree though, before too long, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go on a little shopping spree. Update my wardrobe a little bit. I think it'll like, I don't know, just help my mood, help everything. It'll just be fun. For the first time today when I walked into that doctor's office, I did not have to pee in a cup. It's not that I missed it, it's just, like I don't know, honestly, I think I'm gonna miss going back to that doctor's office. It's a weird thing, like I loved the nurses, I loved the staff, I loved my doctor, and like having that to look forward to every month, it's gonna be weird not going back, but I did not have to pee in a cup this time. First thing doctor said when he walked into the room was, oh my gosh, where's your husband, where's the baby? He like even asked me, are you guys still together? Joking, of course, but Austin went with me at every appointment, so the doctor was super surprised to not see them there. So that was funny, made me laugh. And then we got into the appointment, um, he asked me how things were going, asked if there were any concerns I had, which I'll talk about later. I then got undressed from the waist down and he did a check on me to see if I was healing properly. Um, I was honestly really, really nervous for this appointment. I didn't know how it was gonna feel, I didn't know if it was gonna hurt, I didn't know what to expect and I was concerned that it was gonna be painful or that it wasn't like healed properly. But he went in, I felt some pressure, but no pain. <laughs> what, babe? It just doesn't sound right. <laughs> um, I kinda feel like I had to be there now. 
It wasn't painful. It was just pressure like any other normal um, check down there. It went by really fast. It wasn't a long process or anything at all. Just a super quick check to see if my stitches had healed and they have. And after that, we were pretty much done. I just asked him a few questions. We talked about a few things. One of them, which was diastasis recti. That's when your abdominal muscles split. I was concerned that maybe mine did just because I was all belly. I didn't know if it had kind of tore my abdominal muscles apart, but he checked me and I look fine. That was really kind of one of my big worries, but he said it, it feels fine and I'm cleared to work out and do whatever I want. And while we're on that topic of working out, I am not going to talk about that here on this channel. I know that if you're not into fitness, if you're not into working out, that it's really annoying to see and listen to people talk about that. So I'm not gonna do it here. If you are interested in following along my postpartum fitness journey, I have a fitness Instagram account that I made about a year and a half ago. It's called Battle Pants Jess. I'll link it below. Don't ask about the name. It's kind of an inside joke but it's called Battle Pants Jess. It'll be down in the description and right here. That's where I'm gonna be posting all my fitness stuff, um, progress photos, stuff like that. I'm not gonna flood you guys with fitness stuff on our vlog channel. And the last thing we talked about was birth control options. This was something that Austin and I had talked about a couple days beforehand. We had discussed what we wanted to do and we wanna have a baby right away. I'm just kidding, we do not want to jump into having another baby. We've talked about in the past how I've dealt with depression and everything like that and a lot of birth controls tend to make my mood not great. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. It doesn't necessarily put me in a really bad mood, but I just, I don't do well on hormonal birth controls. So I talked to my doctor about options that don't include hormones and I decided to go with a hormonal birth control anyways. However, it's one that I haven't tried in the past and he said that there's a chance it could really work for me. So I'm gonna give it a shot. Definitely no babies yet, no no second babies, not yet. Sometime in the future you're gonna have a brother or sister, but not yet. Mama needs some time. And that was really it. It was really a quick, easy appointment. Now that's just for me, my healing, seemed to go really well. It was a little shaky at first, but overall I healed really well and I am I'm feeling great now. Super simple checkup. It's not painful as long as as long as you healed properly and really that's what you're going in to get checked for. But as long as you think things are okay, chances are it's okay. I I feel like if things were wrong, you'd probably know about it. So now that you're updated on my recovery and everything like that, Austin and I want to do sometime in the near future a Q&A, a postpartum Q&A. So if you guys have questions that you want answered regarding our experience, let us know in the comments or on our Instagram. Sometimes that's a good way to get a hold of us. Start sending us your questions and we'll start writing them down um, and film that hopefully before too long. Really, I think that's it today for the vlog. Austin is going down to Salt Lake today to do some photos for one of our friend's daughters who is getting baptized. So he'll be taking the camera, but it'll give me a good excuse to just enjoy the night, spend some one-on-one -on -one time with baby girl. What are you doing? Are you stretching? Are you stretching? Let's get this binky over here. Are you wiggling and stretching a lot? Oh, what girly. Oh, you're okay. I know what you're doing. You're trying to poop. I know that face. But before he takes you... Oh boy! I was just gonna tell them how you're growing so much. You're growing so much. You guys, I look at her and I'm like, holy cow. What is happening to you? I swear she's growing so much. And it makes me so sad, but also happy, but more so sad. She's pretty much outgrown her newborn diapers. She's got like two or three left, and after that, we're moving her up to a size one. We're moving you up. And some of you are asking me how much she weighs now. I honestly don't know. We don't have a scale here. She has her two month appointment scheduled in about two weeks from now, and we'll see then. But until then, I i mean, unless I take her somewhere with a scale, I don't know how much she weighs. I can definitely tell that she is gaining weight though. She's definitely getting a little bit of chubbiness in the cheeks and the neck. Oh, you poor thing. Look at those cheeks. Don't worry, it's a good thing. Oh gosh. 
and my parents will be visiting in just a couple days. They'll be here. It's my dad's first time meeting little Micah, so I'm so excited for him to meet her and for you to meet him. You're gonna love your Grandpa Ron. Another quick reminder, write us your questions for that upcoming Q&A, stay tuned for that, and we'll see you next time when my parents are here. Bye guys.